Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we actually have a lot to discuss regarding Taylor, Travis, Donna Kelsey, a Taylor Travis double date weekend with one Mr. Bradley Cooper and Gigi Hadid. Lots to get into, lots to discuss. So let's first start with the news that Taylor and Travis on the release weekend of the Tortured Poets Department, we didn't see Taylor. She was off the grid. There were no photos of her, no paparazzi photos of her, nothing. She was MIA. But now we know that she was actually spending the weekend with her very good friend, Gigi Hadid, and Gigi's very famous A-list actor boyfriend, Bradley Cooper. Now, for me, this is kind of everything because... You guys know I love Taylor Swift. We have a whole channel dedicated to Taylor Swift. You guys know I am a Chiefs fan. I'm from Kansas City. I'm a Travis Kelsey fan. I am also a diehard Bradley Cooper fan. I've been a massive Bradley Cooper fan for many, 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 many years. We know that Taylor and Bradley have a good friendship. They had a friendship even before Bradley started dating Gigi Hadid. Bradley went to her concert. His daughter dressed up as Taylor Swift for Halloween. Like They have been friendly with each other for a long, long time. But obviously the fact that now he's dating Gigi, that's really brought them all a lot closer. But the idea that those four spent the weekend together is just, I love it. So we found out about this. There were some rumors floating around, people spotting them out and about. They actually were in Carmel by the Sea, which is like a small little beach town. Um, which sounds like a beautiful place to spend the weekend, especially if you're trying to get away from the noise, just kind of relax, enjoy what was a very successful week for Taylor with the release of Torture Poets Department. Um, But then Donna Kelsey at an event this week revealed that she actually got a selfie sent to her by Travis of Taylor, Travis, Bradley, and Gigi, which again, it's just like a foursome that I don't know that I I would have ever put together a year ago, but now I'm like, well, this makes total sense. We know Bradley is a diehard football fan. He's an Eagles fan. So I have to imagine that he's not, he doesn't love Travis Kelsey simply because the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl back in 2023. Um, I actually think Bradley probably really likes Travis a lot and like really admires him and probably, I feel like they've probably forged a nice friendship, Um, but I'm sure they had a lot to talk about. I'm sure they had a lot to break down. Obviously, we know Taylor and Gigi have been very good friends for many, 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 many years. So I just think it's so sweet that they spent the weekend together. I think it is so sweet that Travis sent a selfie to his mother. (laughs) of all of them together. And can you imagine being Travis's mother and getting a, getting a text and it's your son and then the most famous pop star in the world, one of the most famous actors in the world, and then one of the most famous models in the world. I'm sure she's used to it at this point, but it still is like, that is quite the foursome. Speaking of Donna Kelsey, at this event, this QVC event um, that she went to earlier this week, Bradley was actually at the event as well, <laughs> serving up, I believe, Philly cheesesteaks to people at the at the event and Donna goes up to the it was like a food truck and Donna goes up to the food truck and she tells Bradley that Travis told her that he was going to be there so they clearly exchanged some information there but at the event Donna was of course asked about Torture Poets Department and being just the angel that she is she said I was just very impressed she is a very talented woman and I think it is probably her best work I mean that is so Sweet. I also would love to know, I would love to know what Donna's favorite song off of Torture Poets Department is. I would I would love to know like what song is she vibing to? What song does she really love? The interviewer then asked Donna what piece of advice she would give to Taylor. And again, Donna just killed the answer. She said, she doesn't need my advice on anything. In fact, I hope she will give me advice. I mean, that is just so sweet. Donna and Taylor, I think, have always had a really strong relationship. And I feel like there's been this weird, especially early on in in Taylor and Travis's relationship, there was this weird narrative going around that Donna didn't like Taylor. I think it all kind of stemmed from that one Today Show interview where Donna was clearly uncomfortable 
revealing information. It was still early in their relationship. And it just kind of like, I think it just kind of came out wrong, but they've always had a really close relationship, especially I think we saw it on display um, when the Chiefs won the AFC championship to make the Super Bowl and Taylor's on the field with, with Travis's parents and she spots Donna crying and she goes over to her and gives her a hug and and then walking down at the Super Bowl down to the field Donna holding Taylor's hand like I just think they've really forged this really nice bond and I have to imagine for someone like Donna for your son to be dating such a famous person has to be like just a very jarring ex- experience and it's so new right like them dating thrust the entire family into into the spotlight and that's just like an adjustment period but I think Donna has seen and 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 been displayed over and like consistently over time how much Taylor really loves Travis and supports him and I think ultimately all that she wants for her kids is that they're happy and with people that make them happy and I think she can tell that she really makes her son happy um and Taylor is such a smart accomplished just like who wouldn't want their son to date someone like Taylor Swift I I don't know I feel like she's the dream the dream person for um, a mother-in-law well, potential mother-in-law down down the road. But I just loved, I just loved Donna singing her praises and just being so sweet as it pertained to Taylor because I don't know, it just makes my heart sing a little bit. Um, and then just the Kelsey love just keeps on going because we got some sources that were t- have been talking about um, Travis's praise of um, Taylor and her album and all of that good stuff. Um And so one source told people that Travis is, or that he is always in awe of her in reaction to her album coming out and that he's just so happy for her and impressed by her, which I think we all again can tell. Uh, And then Entertainment Tonight, there was a source that said, Travis is so supportive of the entire album and loves that he is a part of Taylor's story. He is a Swifty through and through and is very proud of her. And I think we all know Travis is a Swifty. And what I love so much about like their whole relationship in general, I mean, there's lots of things that I love, but the fact that this all started because Travis chose to go to a Taylor Swift concert when he didn't know Taylor Swift, personally, he chose to go to her concert as a fan because he liked her music. And I think for a lot of people, you might think, uh, do I want to be with someone who was like a fan of mine before they dated me? But I think in a way it shows like he does, he's always loved her music and he's always admired her and supported her. And he's not just doing it because, oh, well now they're dating. Like he's, he showed from the very beginning that he's a fan and he likes her music and he, and enjoys what she puts out. And then now, as we've seen him over the last handful of months going to these various concerts, like the man isn't just standing in the VIP tent, like kind of nodding his head. Like he has his hands up. He is bopping around. He is dancing. He is singing. Like he is in it. And I think again, after many, many years of not receiving that kind of love and attention and just like support, I think it means absolutely everything to Taylor. And um, I cannot wait to see Travis on tour, quote unquote, on tour with Taylor over the summer. And just like, I mean, I'm sure he's going to go to a large majority of these shows. And I think what's going to be fun for him too is we we have seen him. He's he, he's brought his friends to some of the concerts, but I think we're going to see a lot more like celebrities and stuff at these concerts over the summer. Um because obviously Europe's pretty easy to get to from the States. And like, I could see like the London shows having a bunch of people. I def- I think we're definitely going to get Patrick Mahomes and Brittany Mahomes at a concert or two over the summer. And just like the, the day that we get to watch Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, like bopping and like dancing to Taylor Swift music is just going to be the best day ever. And I, and I hope we get a lot of other Chiefs. Like I, I hope there's a concert where like four or five Chiefs players come and support Taylor because it, it will just be like a nice reversal after Taylor's gone to so many of their games supporting them. I think it would be really, really cool for like all the Chiefs players to then go and support Taylor. I'm sure we're going to get it. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that will, that will do that because also why not like to go and get to enjoy Taylor Swift concert overseas? Like who says no? Not me. Certainly not me. Well, that is it 
for today's show, for your little Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift, Donna Kelsey, Bradley Cooper, Gigi Hadid rundown. Again, if you love Taylor Swift, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.